What is up guys? We are back for another live in the OU tier today. I built a team specifically designed, not necessarily specifically, but very well designed to counter my first op opponent in the PWM this week, uh, known as the Weavile, I believe, something like that. Uh, I forgot his name, but uh, I built a team that's pretty good against the things he most likely will bring, the things that he likes to use. As you can see on your screen, I'll bring up the team builder here. We have an Assault Vest Metagross, which deals very nicely with the likes of Latios and Mega Gardevoir, which, I mean, some of the team can handle as well, but I just like to have something very reliable to kill those things off so that the rest of the team can function without having to worry about things like Psy Shock. As you can see, Chansey doesn't like to take Psy Shocks, even though it is EV Light. Very susceptible to knockoff and things like that, so uh, I don't really have a good knockoff switch in, but as you see, uh, this is pretty much to bait out people into thinking that I have a Mega Metagross, but it's actually Mega Slowbro on this team, which is a really good uh, setup sweeper. I uh, love the fact that he can't get crit because of shell armor when it Mega Evolves. comes in handy. Uh, so you know the role every time and you don't risk getting crit. You can basically call mind up to full and just sweep teams with this thing. It's really, really powerful. Uh, then we have Chansey, which is rocking Seismic Toss, Stealth Rock, Soft Boil, and Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave's there to slow down the rest of the team. Uh, for Slowbro, Slowbro does outspeed Thunder Wave Mons that I believe are of a speed tier of 80 or below. Th things like uh, Gardevoir before Mega Evolution, Togekiss at max speed, things like that. I believe even Excadrill, uh, a adamant Excadrill outside of the sand. So really good. Uh, we have Chansey. We have uh, Tornadus with Hurricane. Uh, Superpower, U-Turn, and Heat Wave to be able to deal with Ferrothorn and Scizor as the rest of the team does not very well. Uh, you'll see what our Rotom set is coming very uh, coming up very shortly. Uh, we also have Weavile with Knock Off, Icicle Crash, Ice Shard, Low Kick, basically standard Weavile set which is also Life Orb such as Torn is. Uh, this thing punches holes when you Thunder Wave certain Pokemon uh, when there's not too much priority left on the team. That's basically what Rotom's there for. Uh, Rotom is a leftover set rocking Hydro Pump, Willow, Volt Switch, and Pain Split. It's usual set but I'm running a lot of speed. This is not a defensive Rotom, it's more offensive. Uh, we are max special attack, almost max speed, just a little bit of HP investment to uh, to be able to take some hits. Uh, was able to take an outrage from uh, from an offensive Garchomp with this thing, So, and I was able to switch on his slow bro after. And what's really good about a fast Rotom with Pain Split is that it can Pain Split up on high HP Pokemon that are normally faster than it and would be able to knock it out. So really good there. You're able to uh, outspeed once again uh, Excadrill outside of the sand, Adam and Excadrill. So uh, really good speed tier. I like this thing. Uh, I'm testing out the team a little bit. I actually got hacked one game so badly. I was in shock. I was, uh, what happened? I was crit three times in a row. Uh, I was burned one Scald out of three. I missed two Hurricanes out of two. I missed one Icicle Crash out of one, which got my Weavile killed. I then proceeded to get flinched by a Mega Swampert on the turn where I was about to slack off with my... Uh, with my slow bro and win the game. I got poisoned three out of five times with Sludge Bomb uh, from Amoongus on my Chansey, causing me to have to switch out. And this guy was running, like, his last two Pokemon were uh, Amoongus and a, a defensive Azumarill, and all I had left was Chansey, Tornadus, and, um, and Rotom, and it came down to the point where I had to Hurricane the... Uh, um, the Amoongus, and I was poisoned. I only had one turn left. I went for Hurricane, and I missed the Azumarill, which all I needed was damage on the Azumarill so that Chansey's Seismic Toss could take it out after. But, uh, yeah, that's basically what happened. And I still ended up winning that game, which was really funny. Uh, he left his Azumarill to get Volt Switched by Rotom. So we're going to jump into a game here. I've been talking for a while, but you guys are going to see how this team functions. Unfortunately, we get Stall, which, uh, I mean, Slowbro can technically deal with as long as I weaken the... Uh, the Quagsire, which isn't too difficult for this team, uh, considering I have an offensive Rotom and things like that, so uh, we'll see how it goes, but uh, I'm basically just going to lead with... Uh, I'm actually just going to lead with my Rotom here, as he leads with Sableye, which is great, and uh, that's what I was expecting. He can have Fake Out, but that doesn't really bother me. I'm just going to go for a Volt Switch here, as he is going to Will-O-Wisp me, which is perfectly fine. Rotom uh, does have self-recovery, as we explained before, uh, in Pain Split. So now I'm going to go into Torn, and I'm just going to fire off a Hurricane, as nothing really wants to take this uh, other than Chansey, but I can superpower Chansey. So we'll go for that Hurricane. He can't bring in Amoongus, he can't bring in Al Alamola. We can uh, Heat Wave the Skarmory after it comes in. So he does bring in an Alamola. Unfortunately, we missed, so the Hacks continues. And uh, I just want to Hurricane this thing just to see how much it does. And it does 72%, which is insane. Uh, he's going to Toxic us. Again, not a big deal. I really wish I had Heal Bell on Chansey right about now. 
Uh, but again, he can't really switch into this thing comfortably anymore. So I kind of just want to go for a U-turn here as he goes for protect. And now, now I'm going to fire off another hurricane to see what he goes into as he goes chancy. Okay, so we're going to get a hurricane off on that thing. As you can see, it does 19% and, and we actually do get a confusion, which is awesome. I don't want to take any more damage here, so I'm actually going to hard switch out directly into my Metagross right now. Uh, hoping to pursue trap the Chansey. He doesn't get confused. He gets up his rocks. Unfortunately, I don't have any uh, hazard removal, but I'm just going to go for pursuit here. Hopefully, he thinks I'm mega, and he does withdraw prematurely, so we're going to get uh, that thing damaged. He's going to go into Quacksire now, which we obviously can't touch. I'm thinking of taking off Earthquake for uh, for Zen Headbutt because we already have enough things to kill Heatran, so uh, we'll see here. He has Toxic on his Alamomola, so would he have Toxic on this, or is he missing it? Because Slowbro can then handle this and can actually handle the rest of the team very nicely. So, uh, as long as he's not outsped by Amoongus, of course. So, on this thing, I'm just going to go into my Chansey. Hopefully, he doesn't double into Sableye. That would be a little unfortunate. But uh, I am going to double on his Sableye and go right back out into my Rotom after. And probably just fire off a Hydro Bump at that point, I think. Uh, just to catch his Quagsire. This might be a long, stally game, but. He's taking a little bit of time for his move. I'm going to try to shorten this battle as much as possible, especially with all the ranting at the beginning, but uh, we'll just uh, pause until he makes a move. All right, guys, so my friend here, uh, CZFF, actually ended up timing out, so we, we took that one as a win. Uh, I won't count that as one of the battles in the episode. It, is t it has taken up about uh, seven minutes of our time, half of which is me talking at the beginning of the episode once again, but regardless, I think we're still going to try to get three battles here. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna try to find another one. That would have been hard for me to win anyway. So I'm glad I didn't have to finish that that game. Uh, try to get a couple of easier games quicker here for you. So uh, I really like the speed tier of Tornadus and Weavile. And uh, as you can see, this guy actually has a uh, Mega Gardevoir, which is amazing for Mega Metagross. And uh, Mega Metagross is actually one of the only uh, Pokemon that uh, on my team that can take something from uh, from Volcanion. Obviously, Chansey being the other one. But uh, here, I'm just going to. Lead with Rotom uh, is my best possible lead because we outspeed Mega Gardevoir before Mega Evolution. We outspeed uh, Dragonite. We outspeed Volcanion. We outspeed Defensive Landorus. Even some offensive variants of Landorus. So that's um, this is my best possible lead. I'm just going to throw off a Willow here as he's going to U-turn. He's going to see the damage. So he might not want to go straight into his Volcanion here. He actually goes Zapdos, which is amazing. Uh, if this is defensive Zapdos, once again, we do outspeed it. So I'm just going to throw off a Volt Switch here. He might want to Roost, uh, but this is going to give me an opportunity to get my rocks with Chansey. So it's not that big a deal. He's actually going to go for a Discharge, and he is going to get the Para, but we are natural here, so that doesn't matter at all. Uh, I'm just going to throw off the rocks here, and now his Zapdos comes in a lot weaker. So... Uh, gonna get up those rocks. He's probably gonna want to get up his, uh, seeing that I don't have a proper switch in uh, to rocks. Oh, my offensive, my two offensive threats are weak to rocks, and I don't have hazard removal, so uh, that would probably be his best play. Um, I kind of want to go directly into Weavile. At the same time, I don't. I think my best play is. I think that's actually my best play. To be perfectly honest, because he doesn't have a really good switch into Icicle Crash, so uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna go straight into Weavile. Hopefully, he does not U-turn or Earthquake here, uh, which he goes for knockoff, so that's great. That's actually gonna get rid of my Life Orb, which is amazing. I'm not gonna be taking residual damage anymore, so uh, I can just fire off an Icicle Crash here. If he goes into Jirachi, then I'm gonna have to switch out, most likely into Metagross, because uh, if he wants to go for an Iron Head, then obviously I'm just going to uh, to pursue trap him, but. Uh, just going to throw off a nice little crash. Not going to play around with this Lando. I really want to weaken it. And if he wants to bring in Zapdos for whatever, he wouldn't bring it in now. But like this thing keeps it out and keeps it from defogging, which is really great for Dragonite. Great for getting off damage on Volcanion, even weakening the Landorus. So we're in a pretty good position. So I'm, uh, I'm not too worried here. I'm not worried about going for an icicle, uh, icicle crash, basically, because if his Jirachi takes damage, damage is damage. And if it's a Scarfed variant, then we're good. So... I can switch into multiple things on that. I'll we'll just wait until he makes a move here. The PBWM is going to be starting this week. Uh, so, I think this week. They, that's that's what was mentioned in the document. So, hopefully I'm going to be able to bring those games to you guys. I should be getting my new mic this week as well. So, hopefully that lines up perfectly. As you can see, he is going to go Jirachi here on this play. Uh, I'm going to get the Icicle Crash off. That's pretty much Scarfed. Uh, it's pretty confirmed right there. 
Uh, he's probably just gonna go for U-turn, so I'm gonna pivot into uh, into Tornadus, and if he locks himself into Iron Head, then I will just go for uh, a double switch into Metagross. But he chooses to go for U-turn there. Very good play. Um, I don't know if I can knock out Zapdos after the rocks and the burn. I uh, actually have to calc this. If he's physically defensive Zapdos, and I am a Life Warp Tornadus, uh, why is this set not here? Why is it always not here? Hold on a second, you know what? We're gonna do some, some swift maneuvers here and uh, go to Pokemon Showdown. Because I think it's just like the link that I have saved. Because uh, if you go to damage calculator directly through here, I think it's set will be there. Uh, Tornadus. No, no, it's still not there. Don't know why. Okay. It's a little bit of time wasted there, but we can get a life orb. Heat wave in here really quickly. Heat wave versus Zapdos. Physically defensive. Doesn't look like it takes it out. Well, it's a roll. Uh, it's a roll, and it's uh, half in his favor, half in mine. So don't really want to play with that. Uh, I'd much rather go into Weavile because he's definitely not going to fire off a Thunderbolt here. At least I don't think he would. I'd lose a lot of momentum from going for that. So He's actually just going to throw off a Discharge and he does para us unfortunately. But now his Zapdos can't come back on uh, come back in on rocks. So I'm just going to throw off an Ice Shard. If he switches into his Jirachi, that's fine. I still have Weavile to Ice Shard basically his, his Dragonite and his Landorus. Obviously he can have extreme speed on his Dragonite which would out-prioritize us and kill us. But uh, it's still worth keeping around, so I'm just going to fire off a nice shard here. Hopefully we don't get fully parried. Uh, as you can see, our luck is really, really not good. But we do get the ice shard off, so that means no defog for him. Uh, he could technically have defog on, I think Dragonite gets it, but uh, you wouldn't want to run that. Once again, uh, my switch into this Jirachi is my Tornadus every time as a pivot. Uh, as he chooses to go for U-turn again, which is great, because now I can hit something very hard with any one of my moves. Uh, he's going to choose to go into Gardevoir, which is great. As we said before, my switch into Gardevoir is Metagross, so I'm going to U-turn here and uh, get off a lot of damage and go directly into Metagross. And I am going to reveal the pur pursuit on this thing. He chooses to go for Psyshock, as you can see that does nothing. Hyper Voice won't do anything. Focus Blast I think does like 30%, so I'm just going to Pursuit here. He should know that we're defensive at this point from the damage from, sh uh, from Psyshock. So he's probably going to... Okay, he's just going to throw off a Focus Blast. So uh, that, uh, that amount that we said was right on. I'm just going to throw off a Bullet Punch here because it will be able to take out the Gardevoir. And uh, if he wants to switch out, that's perfectly fine. It doesn't matter. Uh, he chooses to go into Volcanion. I uh, have a, a, an immediate response to this thing being Chansey. Uh, I believe Steam Eruption does something like 22% if it's Specs. Uh, and it's going to do 28, so a little bit more than we had anticipated, but it's perfectly fine. His Gardevoir is now in range of Seismic Toss. Uh, I can basically throw out a... Uh, I can throw off a Soft Boiled and just heal, the, heal up, avoiding the burn. But I'm just going to Seismic here. Get off some damage on this Landorus. I believe it is defensive. Let's see if it's Rocky Helmet. It takes 26% from that, and he is indeed Rocky Helmet. As now what I can do is... Well, I can either stay in, but I would take a knockoff. Not really what I want to do. Um, hmm. I'm going to go Slowbro here, because I don't see him U-turning out, because he would lose a lot of momentum if I go for Soft Boiled. And he can't knock off an item, because we are Mega Slowbro, so... Uh, basically, the rocks being up is is what we needed, and that's why I needed to get that Ice Shard off on uh, on Zapdos, because now everything's taking a massive m amount of damage. His Dragon and his, and his Volcanion are both weak to the rocks, so they take 25% on switch-in. His Landorus only has so many switch-ins uh, on Seismic Toss and whatnot, so... Uh, Slowbro is going to come out here. He's going to set up his rocks perfectly fine. Our Weavile goes down, but now we can have it as uh, as fodder. And here what I can do is throw out a Psy Shock as he's going to U-turn, most likely into his Volcanion, and he is indeed. So we're going to get off a big Psy Shock on this thing, get off 26%, and basically this thing can't switch in anymore. So here's where I sack my Weavile, I get my Slowbro's health back because of the Regenerator, and he's going to throw out a Steam Eruption, showing me he's locked into that. I'm going to bring in Chansey, as we saw before it only does 28%, barring a crit I should be able to live this, and I'm going to throw out a... Uh, soft boiled here and I can basically just stall this thing out of its steam eruptions as long as he doesn't burn me which is a pretty high chance regardless uh, it's still a 30% chance but uh, here I'm actually gonna throw off a thunder wave as he chooses to go into Lando so that's actually a really good play on his part um, but once again I can just go slow bro on this thing 
uh, as a pivot every time. And uh, now my chance he's healthy, so uh, he can go for knockoff, that doesn't matter at all. His Volcanion now dies to rock, so I run no risk of just firing off a Scald here. I'm still not going to Mega Evolve, because I still want my Regenerator. And we are going to take down the Landorus there, so now Chansey has no problem just Seismic tossing everything. I am a little bit worried about the Dragonite, uh, but his Gardevoir actually comes in. So that's not an issue. I'm just going to go back into Metagross here, and uh, let the Gardevoir hit me with a Hyper Voice. I am in Focus Blast range, but he's also in Bullet Punch range, so goodbye Gardevoir. Uh, the Volcanion's dead, the Jirachi can come in and either Iron Head flinch me or U-turn on me, but it doesn't really matter, it doesn't bother me at all. Uh, again, the Dragonite is the only thing I'm kind of scared of. He actually chooses to go into Jirachi, so that's pretty much... Uh, do we have a free switch into this thing? We said Torn every time, but now I'm kind of contemplating if I just want to pursue this. Uh, or Earthquake, actually. Earthquake comes in handy right here. Uh, I am going to just Earthquake. He's actually going to Healing Wish up his, uh, his Volcanion. But we stalled that thing out of a couple of Steam Eruptions. So now it's only got three left. Uh, at this point, what I can do is actually just sack my Metagross to this thing and just fire off a Bullet Punch. Make him waste another Steam Eruption right here. Uh, he's actually going to switch out into his Dragonite, so that's even better for us. Uh, I don't think anything barring Earthquake that this thing can go for will take us out. So he is going to throw off an Earthquake, that's perfectly fine. Now what I can do is... Uh, do I want to just Seismic Toss? Uh, thunder Wave? I think I'm going to just Thunder Wave this thing. Uh, then again, he could have... This might have been an incorrect play. Might have just messed up. But I'm going to throw out a Thunder Wave. He is going to Dragon Dance, and let's see if he's Lumberry. He might be. Uh, as he is, unfortunately. Uh, I think we still live one, though. So I am just going to throw off another Thunder Wave. Uh, we do not live in Outrage, okay. Uh, but Slowbro definitely does. Slowbro definitely does. So what I'm going to do is go Slowbro. And I'm going to pivot out into my Rotom, I think, at this point. Just to get Slowbro up as high health as possible. Or I can just slack off because he's eventually going to confuse himself. Yeah, I'm just going to slack off. This Outrage is still not going to do too much. As you can see, it's only doing 40% and he can never crit us. So uh, let's just go for a slack off there. And now what I'm going to do is... Uh, well, I'm just going to throw off another slack off because this, this thing switches out. These are the two Pokemon that we said were taking the most from Rock. So I really don't mind him switching out. Uh, if he wants to go for... Uh, okay, so he goes Volcanion. And we're just going to slack off the damage. And here I'm just going to go into Tornadus because I'm fearing the HP Grass, which is actually still going to do a lot to us. And now we don't have the Regenerator anymore. So if he throws off an HP Grass, it's going to do so something like 20% to Tornadus. So I'm really not concerned with that. Um, if he throws off a Steam Eruption, though, that can be a little bit dangerous. Definitely. I think Rotom can take one, even if we're not defensive. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Volcanion. Burning Tank versus, uh, what did we say, Rotom, let's just say Choice Scarf for the heck of it, uh, Rotom Wash, alright, Blank said, and we have like 80 HP, oh yeah, we can definitely take a Steam Eruption, oh yeah, wait, this is Leftovers, hold on, where's Choice Specs, <laughs> not gonna make that mistake again, uh, we can still take it, I think, even after Rock, so he does go for the Hidden Power Grass, and he is locked in here, so that means pretty much Hurricane sweeps up the game if it lands on the Dragonite. And it is, so we're not going to get unlucky there. He's going to bring back in his Volcanion. At this point, it's pretty much game over. We can just Hurricane and take out the Volcanion. Even if we missed, uh, we still could go into Slowbro. Slowbro had more special attack than when it initially went for Psyshock, so it would definitely take it out. He would have to lock himself in a Steam Eruption to have any chance at winning the game. Or Sludge Bomb, I guess, but Slowbro lives that regardless, so... Uh, so that's going to be that for that game, and uh, it's a little bit more of a stally team than what I'm used to. Uh, it's got a lot of pivoting, a lot of switching going on, but uh, I'm getting comfortable with it. I'm also getting very comfortable with team building. I feel like I'm getting a little bit better uh, as time progresses, uh, especially with all these lives and, and so on. And the fact that I've been looking at replays from players for the PWM. Uh, I've been watching a lot of YouTubers' content lately, uh, competitive content. The GBA just started up as well, so that gives me a good premise for... Uh, for wacky sets, different things as well, so, yeah, it's all fun, uh, all super fun, uh, really, uh, really pulling, putting in a lot of work now. So, this guy has a Metacham, a Weavile, this is a very scary team, this is a very, very, very scary team. 
Uh, luckily, we have Metagross to deal with the Clefable. The only thing I'm worried about him switching in on my Metagross is his Zapdos. So we're going to have to get rid of that very quickly. Luckily, Weavile can put a in a lot of work as soon as I weaken the Clefable. So what do I want to lead with here? Um, kind of want to lead Slowbro just to, uh, to check the Metacham exactly. Uh, this thing can't do anything to me. And basically, I can just fire off a Scald here as he's going to go for the Fake Out. It's not going to do much at all. He's going to see that I have no items, so he should pretty much know that I am uh, I'm a Mega Slowbro at this point. I'm just going to throw off a Scald on his Zapdos, uh, trying to get a burn. If we don't, that's fine, but we do. So that's great. That's the Zapdos Weakened. Uh, that's one less thing that can take on Tornadus uh, efficiently. So here we can switch out into Chansey. As he goes back into Metacham, perfectly fine. I can s switch right back out into Slowbro. He would need a double crit high jump kick, I believe, to take me out. Uh, that's 39%. That's not doing anything. So, uh, just gonna, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna throw off another Scald here. That's perfectly fine. His Zapdos comes in, takes a Scald, takes the burn damage, and now I can freely go back into Chansey. And uh, I mean, he can keep doubling if he wants to, but he's gonna lose a lot of momentum. So. Chansey uh, stays in here. I'm just going to throw up my rocks at this point as Landorus comes in. He doesn't have any hazard removal once again other than the Zapdos, so very similar to team to uh, the one we just played. Um, I want to scout what this Landorus is, uh, but at the same time I don't want to lose my item. This is the problem, I don't have a knockoff switching on this team. Uh, that's the only big issue. Uh, as he actually chooses to go for Swords Dance, so that's perfectly fine. We'll go for Seismic Toss. Uh, reason I say that's perfectly fine is because now I know that Weavile just smacks this thing. Um, just gonna go. I wanna go Slowbro here as a pivot. Yeah, I kinda do. Uh, we'll go Slowbro and on his Rock Polish. And now he can't stay in because uh, no one move he goes for can take me out. I'll, I'm just gonna throw out a Scald here. Uh, he's gonna go for Earthquake. You see that does a lot of damage, but the Scald is gonna do a lot as well. I'm not gonna stay in here because this thing is my dedicated to counter to Metacham. I'm predicting him to throw out another one most likely. He could also go for Stone Edge, which would probably be his best play. What don't I mind losing? Rotom deals with the Keldeo relatively well, then again so does Slowbro. Slowbro pretty much counters like 3 out of 6 on his team. Pretty much the same ones that Rotom would normally counter, so I'll go directly into Rotom uh, on his Earthquake again. And uh, if he's not max speed invested, well actually he has the Rock Polish up, so... I think he can take us out with a uh, with a Stone Edge because we're not defensive, uh, but we'll test it out as he does. So that's uh, that's dead. But now I can go into Weavile and I can just throw out an Ice Shard. I'm not gonna let this thing set up on me ever again. I'm basically just gonna switch directly into Weavile when I get a chance. I don't mind losing my Rotom again. It's not a big deal. Uh, we're just gonna kill this Landorus off. We're gonna take a little bit of Life Orb damage there, but. That thing's dealt with, and once again, he can't bring in his Weavile on me, which is uh, what I needed, so. Uh, the Keldeo decides to come in, and I don't trust this thing for two seconds. I'm going to go into Metagross, because we are Assault Vest. Obviously, I have nothing to hit him back, but that's the move I was afraid of, was Hidden Power Electric. Uh, I couldn't al allow him to go for that for free. So, now I'm actually going to double into Weavile, predicting his Zapdos to come out. And now he has no switch into a knockoff. So we're just gonna fire that off. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna go for Icicle Crash just in case he wants to stay in and get cheeky. Uh, I don't want, I can kill this thing later. So his Keldeo is gonna come back in. I'm just gonna fire off an Icicle Crash. How much is his Zapdos at? 47, so after burn it goes down to 22, 16 because of leftovers. So I'm pretty sure Metagross can't take it out. Um, Horn, can you take a hit? Ah, oh, come on. What do I do against this thing? I really don't want to go into Metagross and give him the potential to roost. That's what I'm most afraid of. Then again, I could just double back in a Weavile. Um, is this thing scarfed? Don't we take it out with a knockoff from here? No, not yet, I don't think. Um, yeah, we'll just go back into Metagross, it's okay. Because uh, he goes for a Hydro Pump, we would have been able to take that anyway. And now I can just fire off a Meteor Mash on this thing. If he wants to go for another Hydro, that's perfectly fine. 
He brings in Zapdos, so this is pretty much going to go down to the combination of Meteor Mash or just Meteor Mash itself. We are going to get the Static, unfortunately. Uh, that is pretty unfortunate, but I can still Meteor Mash the Clefable and Bullet Punch the Weavile, so it's not a big deal. Um, his best switch into me right now is Metacham, exactly. I was hovering over it, as you could see. I don't have a good high jump kick resist anymore. So, do I even have a switch into this? What don't I need? I don't really need Chansey because he has the combination of Keldeo and Weavile and Metacham and Clefable. So I'm actually just going to sack Chansey. If he misses a high jump kick, that would be cool. <laughs> but no, he's going to land it. Uh, which is okay. Because now Tornadus comes in and I should have gone Slowbro just to get the regen. But I'm just going to Hurricane here. And nothing on his team wants to take it. I might have slapped my mic a couple of times there. Sorry about that. But uh, I'm just running my hand close to my face. Uh, I don't even think his Clef takes two Life Orb Hurricanes from Tornadus. This does a lot, man. This is a powerful move. Uh, his Metacham should go down here. He shouldn't want to keep his Metacham. His best Pokemon to keep is uh, is Weavile, but he actually decides to... Oh, okay, that seems to be specially defensive in some way. I'm just going to go Metagross here. As he gets up his rocks, perfectly fine. Just going to throw out a Meteor Mash. Uh, that plus Bullet Punch should be able to take out Keldeo. He's going to go for a Moon Blast. He's going to play off of the Paras, I guess. But I'm going to get off the Meteor Mash and kill his Clefable. So now he really has no Hurricane Switch in. Uh, should be able to win this game. Yeah, definitely. Uh, he chooses to go Metacham. Again, I have no Switch to this thing. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to fire off a Bullet here. And I'm going to get fully Parried anyway. So uh, High Jump Kick is going to be able to take us out. That's a really strong move. Uh, but as we saw from before... No, but I don't want to give him a free switch into Weavile. That's the problem. Because Weavile actually destroys me. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go Tornadus here. And just fire off another Hurricane. Basically, I have to line these Hurricanes to be able to win. But it'd be really cool if he sacked his Weavile right now. But he chooses to go into Keldeo, which is the correct play. Uh, sacks that off. And uh, if he has Pursuit on his Weavile, we are in trouble big time uh, but he goes Weavile he's probably just gonna fire off a nice move here or a knockoff a knockoff kills too uh, what don't I need I guess I don't need Slowbro realistically um, well Slowbro can actually take a knockoff from this I'm mega right even after rocks Weavile Weavile, just how strong are you? Let's see. Mega Slowbro, OU defensive. Knockoff does maximum of 38. So he would need to flinch us and follow it up with a knockoff. Yeah, I'm okay with letting Torn go down here to the knockoff. That's fine, because I don't want to switch Slowbro into it. And we said that knockoff does a maximum of 38 once we're Mega Evolved. So yeah, I'm going directly into Slowbro and I'm just Mega Evolving right now and slacking off. He can't crit us, so uh, that's going to be a live right there. He's going to be losing life orb. Uh, we're just going to keep slacking off, because as you can see, that does a maximum of... Well, that one did 32, but we're just going to keep gaining health and, and gaining and gaining and gaining. And basically, I just need to scald him once and put him in range of Ice Shard from Weavile, and I win the game. So I'm uh, going to take all those knockoffs. Like I said, it's a pretty stally team at times, especially when you get down to situations like this. Uh, but I'm just going to let him kill himself. Uh, fire off slack offs repeatedly. He can't switch out anymore because his Weavile is going to die to to Stealth Rocks, and uh, and that's pretty much going to be game. He's going to go for knockoff again, and again he can't crit us with anything. So his hardest hitting move is resisted, and normally the coverage that Mega Metacham carries isn't able to hit Slowbro for more than neutral. So. Uh, actually, most things are resisted. He's going to go for high jump kick. You can see just how little that does. It actually does way less than before because we got Mega Evolved now. And we're going to go for Scald again, and he's just going to forfeit. I don't know why people insist on, uh, on forfeiting on the very, very last turn of the game, but that's okay. Uh, do I have time for one more? Uh, I don't think so. I think I'm going to cut it off there. Anyway, you guys are going to be seeing more of this team. Like I said, we're going to be using this for the PWM, most likely against our first week opponent. Uh, another really great uh, feature of the, uh, the PWM is it's going to force me to create new innovative teams every week. So you guys are going to be seeing a little bit of that. 
So that's, uh, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Thanks again for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, hit that like button down below, as always. Subscribe if you want to see more. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions or questions. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. Ciao.